out. Uh, losers finals is about to begin. It's going to be Fame versus the homie, the Zeta player, uh, the homie Raw Ice. Should be a great match. Guys, if you're enjoying, please, please consider contributing, guys. Whoa, is that? Holy shit. Well, I got to thank somebody. Thank you so much, guys. Somebody contributed a lot of money just now. David Mayo Jr. He gave $100. Thank you very much, David Mayo Jr. If you're still watching with us, we appreciate your extremely generous donation towards the prize pool tonight. Uh, awesome, man. $125 towards the players. $125 more or less towards next level. We still have some of those free coupon codes left, guys. So please try them out if you have just a minute. And uh, thank you so much. Seriously, extremely generous. All right, so we're going to do this next one. It's going to be Fame versus Real Ice. We'll see who's on what side in just a moment. In the storyline, these two are actually extremely good friends. Believe it or not, Zeta and... Uh, Zeta and Vasaraga. And yes, they're also partners. They work together. In fact, they were not good friends at first. Uh, they did not like each other's style. Uh, but uh, eventually, they came to become very good friends and good partners. They like working together. Yeah, is it all Georgia? Losers finals? That makes sense. Yep. Georgia versus Georgia. Real Ice versus Fame. One, two, three. Damn, that was good. He waited. Uh, that's actually a spot where Vasaraga could have probably mashed Crouch Light and, and been okay. So I get why Real Ice chose to wait there. Damn, his pressure. Mm. I don't think that once he committed to the guard point there, Real Ice, I don't think that there was anything he could do anymore. If he ended it, he would have gotten armored. And if he had stayed there, then he would have had to get hit right so I think that was kind of tough damn his cancers are so on point nice got the knockdown can we get close enough to set up some of these nice buttons yeah so far that was a good string you know respecting Vasaraga's far light is one of the hardest things for me personally in this matchup I'm not sure if you guys have trouble with it it seems to me that a lot of the time I press a button at the time where his stand light actually has priority on me or he has better frames for the stand light. I need to get better at that. I find that other players, when they fight Fame, they have the same type of problem. Fame is really good at, he sets up these lights where it's actually, you think that it's okay to press a button, but actually you can't press a button there. His light will beat you. Nice. All right. Real Ice looking good now. Does have the core. Oh, he almost had to hit. Oh, no. Oh, damn. It, thankfully, that doesn't bounce high, high enough, I don't think, on its own to get something. I think that he needs a juggle for that to work. That was a nice punish. Great with punish. Was uh, So both these characters were buffed to Mazen Ram. Uh, Zeta got less recovery on Crouch Medium. Uh, close medium is a plus frame move now, and her anti-air got better. Those are the three, I guess, major changes. Vasaraga got a better startup on the unique attack, a better crouch heavy, not startup or anything like that, just better hitbox. Uh, some other stuff too. His supers got buffs as well. Just a lot of buffs. In fact, these two characters, I think, among the past, these two characters got the most buffs of everyone, I think, if you add them all up. Anyway, first game to fame. This is three out of five, so Real Ice has a couple games to get used to everything. Get used to the different style of fame. That was nice. Okay, still gets a hard knockdown because it was off the EX. A good interrupt there. Scoop. He's setting up the scoops really well. Mm. I think that would have worked if he had canceled fast enough. Man, his shoulders are perfect once he has the armor. Blowing through those projectiles. Oh, that was a good delay cancel. I think he wanted a super? Maybe? That's a super, for sure. Hard knockdown again. Not even. Actually got the kill, even on Voss. 
two. Oh, I think that this patch made a big difference for her, to be honest. Uh, before, it was like she was, like, good, but, like, you know, like, some things were weird, like how her close medium was not plus. That was kind of whack. Now, now it makes a big difference. She has better corner game. Uh, her mid-screen game improved a little bit, especially thanks to the crouch medium having less recovery. Now she can crouch medium, and if she whiffs because you jumped, she can still anti-air you. That, that's huge. Basically, almost every button that matters for her got better. Only the lights did not improve, I think. Or did they? Was it Crouch Light that got buffed? I forget. Just so many buffs for both these guys. And you see it kind of in action here with Real Ice. Cross up. Fame just wanting to be away from the corner. Keeping the block string a safe block string. True block string, even. Nobody got nerfed. Not even the top tiers. Maybe next patch. Oh, nice throw. That was huge. The best part when you throw the EX like that, the best part about that is that then she does not have the EX for the next knockdown. So you don't even have to be afraid of really going for a media anymore because she can't guard point through it. Oh, that almost was the combo. Again, he tried to guard point through, but it did not work. Scoops. Man, I bet Real Ice is hurting for those guard points not working because that one might have been a good guard point if he had canceled out, right? That's one of the things that still makes that difficult to play is that guard point reversal. It's not like a perfect answer. It's more like a, a answer where sometimes it works for you and sometimes you get hit anyway. Extended combo, beautiful. Not spending the skybound. If he hits now, he's gonna get SSBA and I bet that, oh, he can still get it. Yes, he went for regular. Keep in the corner. Ooh, he tried to anti-air that, but real ice. Damn, if, if that, if that anti-air had hit, that would have been a totally reverse scenario. He would have been straight up dead, I'm pretty sure. The Told War. Thank you, The Told War, for the 23 Aeons, my friend. I do appreciate your support. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yep, so far they're evenly matched. I like it. Scoop. Man, those scoops are getting so much mileage for him. And it's so hard to deal with that, too. You don't want to really press anything because you're so scared of, like, the other options. Like, that option. He has the light. That's also an anti-air. He's got these block strings that lead to huge damage. Look at that. And now you still have to guess? Bro, he's coming at you. What are you going to do? Can't jump this giant thing. Scoop, where are you going? You tried to get away? You know, one thing that Real Ice can do, and he's tried to do it in the past, is you can actually grab that before the command grab if you're on point. You kind of have to guess. That's the problem. You have to guess which hit he wants to go for it on, and it's, it's not easy. There was a good one. Finally, he gets out. Scoop, my turn. You eat this mix. Another. Fame breaks. Ooh, he might be able to get something. He tried. I feel like that was almost close enough. Nice escape. Fame makes it 2-1. Thank you, Steel Beat. Thanks so much for giving away five subs just now, Steel Beat. Extremely kind of you, my friend. Holy crap. Uh, everybody that got a sub from the homie Steel Beat, make sure to thank him. Thank you, Steel Beat. Fame looking great here tonight, by the way. Real Ice, no slouch either. He made it to third for a reason, man. His Zeta's been looking sick, and he's been utilizing all the buffs and all the damage. Oh, reset setup. Cute. I like it. He's got, like, a near perfect. That might actually be a perfect now. Damn, that hurt a lot. Good block. Again. <laughs> Theme was kind of stuck into committing there. By that point, it's like he had to do something, right? Plus, damn, so much pressure. Look at the look at the amount of damage Real Ice has already taken. By the way, a lot of that was just blocking. Ouch! Eat it.
Damn, the throw breaking is so on point. That was a sick guard point. Empty low. He can actually get really good damage from this. No, he tried. Oh, wow, it still worked. That, that interaction was crazy. I don't understand what just happened. Did it guard point and then he hit her? Or did it? Did she whiff and then it still hit? That happened so quickly that it was hard for me to tell. Right, did he actually guard point to jump you? Is that what happened? Okay, I see. Or did it hit in between? No, it hit in between. Okay, I see. That was crazy. That thing is fast. His supers are fast now, huh? Even the first super is fast now. Oh, he tried to grab. That would have been good. Nice dodge, but it's not enough. Confirm. Cool, and he didn't have to spend the EX. That's huge. Grab. Real Ice actually in a good position now. Jump you. Got the hit. Full combo. Optimal route. This is his optimal stuff. This time he did not go for the sweep. He's kind of been going for that option every time, so it makes sense that he tried to change it up this time. Fame did not bite. He didn't press anything, and that helped him get out of the corner. Now he has corner control. Can Real Ice get away? Ooh, that was good. Oh, I don't think he wanted that. Damn, that sucks. I don't think he wanted that unique. I could be wrong. GG's. Anyway, Fame takes it. Uh, props to Real Ice, by the way, man. Real Ice with his Zeta was really sick tonight. Uh, good job on third place, Real Ice, for real, man. Uh, your anti-airs, especially against Tempest in the winner's final, were crazy, bro. Your anti-airs were so good. And then you had all the clutch anti-air follow-up combos to do with them, both in the mid-screen and in the corner. Uh, really good spacing, really good movement in general, bro. I hope that you'll try your luck again next week with us. Anyway, props to Fame, of course. So one last time, guys, before we start the Grand Finals, I want to thank you all for contributing to the Match Reno crowdfund tonight. Uh, everybody, whether you use those free coupon codes or whether you donate it directly, we have $256 contributed. And if you guys want to support, really, now during the last match, now's your best chance. Uh, David Mayo Jr., thank you for the $100. Thank you, man. The Critical Dom giving $20.50. Des Oda also gave $20. Thank you, Des Oda. Glapos gave 